please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello, fool lovers. It's good you're here. Chiang Sheng was born in Taiwan on April 4, 1951, into a large family. Having difficulties providing for all their children, his parents made a decision to send Chiang to the Fusheng Drama School in Taipei. Being a highly energetic youngster, Chiang quickly took to the activities the school provided. At the school, he was taught acrobatics, weapons, singing, and performing. He would also meet his lifelong friends Lu Fong, Philip Kwok, and Robert Tai. Chiang easily absorbed the school's teachings, but he had a mischievous nature that eventually would get him expelled from the school for smoking in the principal's office. But by then, fortunately he had picked up enough to get him work as a stuntman and an extra in a few Taiwanese movie productions. In the mid-70s, Shaw Brothers legendary director Chang Che went to Taiwan looking for fresh talents. This was where he found Chiang and immediately took a liking to him. He then took Chiang along with Philip Kwok, Lu Fong and Lu Man and gave them parts in the movie Shaolin Temple. After giving them individual roles in three more movies between 1976 and 1977, the audience began to take notice of them. The female audience took a special liking to Chiang and gave him the nickname Kitty Pie. Chang Che also noticed the obvious chemistry between them. So in 1978, in the movie Five Deadly Venoms, Chang Che, Philip Huang, Lu Fong, Lo Man, together with Sun Qian, would go on to become known as the Venoms. Their new formula of martial art movies, where not only one hero fights well, but any person of the main cast has his own style and great fighting abilities, was new and refreshing to the movie goers. Chang became an integral part of the group as the team continued with the formula. Chang Shen, Philip Kwok, and Lu Fong all had Chinese opera backgrounds and soon became action directors for Chang Chen movies. Soon Chang also began working as an assistant director. The cast, including the Five Venoms and also Wang Lin, Liu Tai Ping, Johnny Wang, Hu Fong, sometimes together with Alexander Fuxian, Tai Long, and others, appeared in more than a dozen movies. Among them are Kung Fu classics like Crippled Avengers, Shaolin Rescuers, Legend of the Fox, and The Rebel Intruders. Chang would not only enhance the movies with his amazing acrobatic skills, but he would also bring some comic relief to it. In 1981, Philip Kwok, Chiang Sheng, and Lu Fong would go back to Taiwan and form a production company. They all acted and choreographed the action scenes in their debut film, Ninja in the Deadly Trap. However, the movie did not go over well with the audiences, who had come to expect a certain standard from the Venoms. Soon, Philip Kwok decided to return to Hong Kong and wanted Chang to go with him. But Chang, who was married by that time, upon the insistence of his wife, stayed back in Taiwan. After a while, it became apparent he had made a mistake. He could not get a worthwhile job in Taiwan. This forged a wedge between the couple, leading them to get divorced. Chiang then sank into a deep depression and became a hard drinker. On August 8, 1991, an old friend of Chiang, actor Ricky Chen Tian Chi, came to see him, but found him dead. He had been lying there for three days. He had died from a heart attack. But his longtime friend Philip Kwok put it best when he said, it was more of a broken heart that Chang died from. With his legacy in the annals of Kung Fu cinema safe and secure, to Chang Shen we say, rest in peace and thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.